All right, problem four from the free response section of 20, 2016 AP Calc AB non-calculator. And look, let's see what we got. We got a shape, some sort of triangle, letter S. And S will be the shaded region in the first quadrant bounded above by the horizontal line Y equals three and below by the graph of Y equals three times the sine of X. This three times the sine of X. And on the left by the vertical line, Y equals K or X equals K. And K is between zero and pi over two. Find the area of S when K equals pi over three. Okay, so if K equals pi over three, we need it, we're gonna integrate from pi over three to when three times the sine of X equals three. That means sine of x is one. So then that's going to be a pi over two. So this is pi over two comma three. All right, and now, <clears throat> now we just set up the integral. This is, I guess it depends if you like this. I really like this stuff. So we're just going to integrate from pi over three to pi over two. And it's going to be this line, 3, minus the bottom line, the bottom area, which is going to be 3, which is 3 times the sine of x. Oops, minus 3 sine of x. So not a pretty simple derivative, or pretty simple integral to find the derivative of. So 3x plus because that's going to be a positive three cosine of x from pi over three to pi over two. Three pi to so three times pi over two plus three times the cosine of pi over two, which is zero minus three times pi over three. So three pi over three, which is just going to be pi plus three times the cosine of pi over three. Cosine of pi over three is one half. So we have three pi over two minus pi, which will be one pi over two, minus a three halves. And there you go, that's all she wrote for that one. Part B, the area of S is a function of K. Find the rate of change of the area of S with respect to K when K equals six. This one, students get confusing, get confused. Um, just first find the area. Well, let me, let's first, we'll set up the area. The area of S, all right, it's the integral from k to pi over two. And last time we just made k pi over three, but in general, we would be integrating from k to pi over two, same integrand, three minus three times the sine of x, dx. Now, I'm going to, find the rate of change of S with respect to K when K equals five or six. Oh, so just solve this. Now, um, this is where Students usually get stuck, and it's, it's actually a weird question, but it's it's a, it's a good question. So I almost kind of fell off track too, because remember we're trying to find it's we're told that s is a function of k, the area of s is a function of k, but we need to find the rate of change of the area of s. So we need to find s prime.
So it's like, well, what is S prime? Because we have to take the derivative of this and we, if we have K in there, like how does that work? Well, here's a trick. You can rewrite this, I'm gonna write it over here, as S being equal to negative one times integral from pi over two to k. Remember, remember the property of integrals? I hope you do. We just flip this. We just flip the endpoints. And the integrand stays the same. So the same thing. But, big but, well, an important but. Now, when you take the derivative of s, you can just use the second fundamental theorem of calculus meaning that you can just plug this endpoint into here and S prime just becomes negative one times three minus three times the sine of K. Hey, how are you supposed to come up with that? You're probably thinking, ah, you gotta be, you gotta just know your stuff. There's probably other more tedious ways, but um, this is the fastest way. So then here, then we just um, evaluate this. Let's plug in k equals pi over six. So we're going to evaluate s prime of k being equal to pi over six. So we'll get negative three plus three sine of pi over six. This will then, then be equal to negative three sine of pi over six is root three over two, no, one half. So three times one half. So negative three plus three halves, we'll just get negative three halves or negative 1.5. All right. The last part. Region S is revolved about the horizontal line y equals five to form a solid. Right, but, but do not evaluate an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the volume of the solid when k equals pi over three. Okay, so let's go and draw a sketch. Oh, whoa, whoa, lost track. Oh, I swear I normally draw better than this. So our y, our x axis down here our y, and then our line, y equals five. And remember our, our graph only goes to y equals three. So what we got here is something looking like this. The region S, this is the line Y equals three. The graph stops over here. Let me maybe make that dashed. This point was, what was this point again? It was pi over two comma three. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, pi over two comma three. Yes. Make sure we're doing the right thing. Now we're gonna revolve this region here about this line. This guy, this region about this line. I really like these problems. I don't know, I think they're, think they're cool. Some students don't like them because um, they're just hard sometimes. But um, what you're gonna essentially do is you're gonna generate um, like a cone with a hole in the middle. So on the other side here, you're gonna have like, I can draw like a maybe figure of what it would look like. Over here, you would then have this guy. I won't spend too much of your time, but kind of that sort of thing, if you can see it. So it's like, what, so how do we do this? Well, you're essentially just remembering that 
you're going to take the large radius, which is the distance from here to this, to the outline, this line here. So this line here, that's a large radius. That's your R minus small radius. Let me see if I can change my pen in here. The small radius is from here to here. Now it's not so simple as just taking as just r being three sine of x and little r being like two. Because you're measuring from down here. You get me? Well, I mean, I hope you do, because right? I can't, you know, obviously get feedback right away. But, uh, but what you're then gonna do is to find the big R. Remember the total length from here to here is five. So you're gonna do five minus three sine of x. So, so big R is equal to through five minus three sine of x. Oh. And little r is two, because it's, it's, it's always the same amount, it's two. And remembering the equation, remember the um, formula for the, these con or the yeah these solids revolution, pi times big R squared minus little r squared. Or I mean r the function will be like r of x squared, but same thing, same same idea. Large radius squared minus little radius squared times the pi. So we set up our integral like that. The integral we're going from, um, where are we going from again? <laughs> the start of this, I think it's pi over four, right? Oh, wait, well, we're, we're told, right? Whoops, yeah, pi over four. Pi over four to the endpoint, pi over two. The volume equals our coefficient, we're multiplying everything by pi, remember? Volume equals pi. Now we use our large radius, which we got to be five minus three sine of x. So this squared minus a little radius squared, so minus two squared. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to actually solve it. This is a, this is enough work. But yeah, these ones are this one usually gets students necessity with it, with the time constraint. Um, just again, practice and build that math intuition. But again, let me know if you have any, you have any questions. Feedback is always welcome, even if it's you know, even if it's saying, oh, you're not that good at explaining. Help me, you know, become better, um, and I'll try my best to respond to the comments um, right away. And if you did like this video, please show your appreciation by liking it and giving me a subscription or subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.